Yes, Mr. Foreman? Your Honor, uh, nothing has changed since last time. We are still... Uh, <clears throat> uh, there is no prospect of reaching a verdict. And that's the view of all the members of the jury? Yes. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. It's unanimous, Your Honour. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know you have tried your best. These things do happen from time to time. I thank you for your consideration in this difficult matter, and I discharge you from this jury. Folks, this is your last time in this room, so make sure you get everything, please. You can't be responsible for anything left behind, right? Oh. 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 Penny? Yeah. Give me your phone number and your address. Penny? I'll see you later, OK, Penny? Yeah. Look after yourself. Yeah. Goodbye, yeah. Put it in there, love. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's too. Yeah, I see you, going yeah. away. Yeah. Sorry about all the abuse. Oh, my God. Yeah, see you later. Look after yourself, all the best. I'll never know why Brad shook his hand. I guess Brad will never know either. Maybe he was being a good sport, or maybe it was relief it was all over. But I was damned if I was going to say goodbye. I was angry, and I wanted to hold on to it. If I was going to take anything away, it was a feeling of being used. I am innocent, and these people in here couldn't prove otherwise. Didn't I tell you I was innocent? Yeah. And they can't prove it. And I don't care whether they take another four years, they'll never prove it, because there's nothing to prove. Yeah. I have given my complete dedication of half my life and more uh, to, to Queensland. Yeah. And, I never, and I never expected there'd be any powers that be in any shape or form that would try to reward me as they have rewarded me. They are never going any further than they already have, up a road, up a dry gully. Queensland I knew and loved and served, and they grew and expanded, and people... Only hours before the jury was discharged, the Crown tried to have the whole trial aborted. It was revealed that the jury foreman was an active member of the National Party and had connections with the Friends of Joe Association. Luke Shaw had been a branch secretary of the Young Nationals and was described by the Crown as an admirer and supporter of the former president. It alleged that a trade unionist was also on the jury, as well as the wife of a Labor Party member. Kev? Yeah, ma. Oh, you poor thing. How was it? Not bad. <clears throat> Terrible about your foreman being a Joe man. What? It was on the news. Your foreman was a member of the National Party. <laughs> it's true. That's life. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, oh, sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Hello? Yes. Uh, yes, my name is Matthew Shea. I, um, just, yes, I was on the Joe trial. The yesterday. day after the trial, I spoke to the Attorney General, Dean Wells, 
and the next day I went to his office. I knew most of the others would support me. I told him I had spoken to the sheriff and the director of prosecutions about my concerns over the conduct of the deliberations. I wanted to know how the jury had been chosen. Why weren't we given a better idea of our rights as jurors? I was told the judge had instructed the sheriff to carry out an investigation into these matters. We would just have to wait 